are worthy. Doesn't matter if you vote for me, just as long as you vote. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. <laughs> oh, thanks for your support. <laughs> Have you voted for your queen yet? I'd rather burst into flames. <laughs> well, can't you vote first? <laughs> Look, nobody cares about you or your stupid dance. She didn't be back in your coffin? <laughs> What's wrong with those people? Forget them, they're gross. They hate everything. Yeah, those groats are so grotesque. Oh, hello, that's why they're called groats. <laughs> yeah, nothing gets by you. <laughs> See you guys. See you. You know, um, I got a free period if you want to go to the library and check each other out. Oh. I can't. I have to meet my new lab partner, some guy named Sid. You're Christy Ford, right? Uh, yeah. I'm Sid, your new lab partner. Are you sure she's not the experiment? <laughs> Weren't you going to the library? Are you gonna be okay? I only bite when there's a full moon. Now, <laughs> see you later. Yeah. <laughs> so, you're Sid. Look, let's just get through the semester without killing each other. Well, not killing each other's good? <laughs> Why don't we meet after school at the stadium to work on our project? Oh, gee, that would be fun. Then could we go to the Gap? Yeah, you want to? Uh, no. Let's go to the morgue. You mean where they keep dead people? This morgue's a coffee house. You know, behind the old burned-out water tower. Yeah, but isn't that where all those weird... <laughs> yeah, that'll be fun. Yeah, lots. Well, I have cheerleading practice until four. Oh, that's perfect, because I have band practice. Oh, really? <laughs> See you at four. <laughs> uh, so, boys, know anyone dating a 22-year-old full-grown woman? Oh, yeah, me. <laughs> Get out, man. I speak the truth. Man, I met her at the university bookstore. I don't know, it's hard to believe you with an older woman or you at the bookstore. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Wendy is a college graduate. Which means she's smart enough to appreciate me. <laughs> you genius. Did you tell her you're still in high school? <laughs> you know, boys, sometimes honesty is not the best policy. And Wendy is one of those times. <laughs> you good, you. Go daring. Rah. <laughs> you boo! <laughs> Dad! <laughs> well, here we are. <laughs> oh, that is one scary outfit. <laughs> so, how do you like the mock? Um, well, it's very dark and very different. <laughs> Are we safe here? <laughs> Not really. What? Relax, I'm kidding. <laughs> oh, I get it, you're trying to scare me. <laughs> well, let me tell you something. It's working. <laughs> um, it was kind of weird, but I got used to it. So how old were you when you found out you were adopted? Um, almost 10, how about you? Two and a half. Wow, your parents told you early. They didn't have to tell me. They're Chinese. 
That wasn't a joke. Uh, of course it wasn't. <laughs> so, what do you think? Not bad, huh? No, no, you look good. I'm just laughing because I'm sitting here with the jock goddess and I'm actually not hating it. Jock goddess? Oh, that's her name for cheerleaders. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> okay, you ruined it. Sissy, can I ask you something? How come you're... You know, why are you a, um... Oh, you mean the groped thing? It's like, ever since I was little, I never really fit in with the other kids. You know, I kept waiting for them to invite me to their parties or join their clubs. Never happened. Oh, that's so sad. It sucked. Um. <laughs> but when I came to high school, I found other kids like me, so I started hanging out with them. And now I don't even want to hang out with anyone else. So... Being a groat's kind of like saying, you can't reject me anymore because I'm going to reject you first. Never thought of it like that, but yeah. That and I don't need a costume for Halloween. <laughs> See, that was a joke. Oh! <laughs> I'm going to get this. So let's get cranking on our project. Okay. Hurry up, guys. You're going to be late for calculus. Uh, that'd be a problem, Silk, if we took calculus. <laughs> <laughs> well, you may want to sign up once you eyeball the fine young hate subbing for Mr. Sachs this oh, week. Oh, yeah, I think I seen her around, man. Oh, man, is she that gorgeous redhead with the great... <laughs> ...knowledge of calculus? <laughs> nice try. I'll leave so you can have your boy attack. <laughs> You know, last week, I would have been as pathetic as you losers, but since I met Wendy, man, I don't even look at other women. Oh, well, then close your eyes, because here comes the hot new teacher, Miss Calculicious. <laughs> That's Wendy! Over here is the South Hallway, which is on the north end of the school. Let me tell you, nothing around here makes sense. Hey, Nanny, stay alive! <laughs> oh, man, that was close. Man, that's a girl you're dating? What do I do? I mean, if she finds out I'm in high school, she'll dump me. Don't worry. Once she really gets to know you, <laughs> she'll dump you anyway. <laughs> so who's this new friend you want us to meet? Oh, just someone from biology class. Game's over, freaks. Get lost. We're still playing. Wrong. We're playing. <laughs> that is so unfair, the way people treat groats. Come on, they're asking for it looking like that. Yeah, they're a walking horror movie. It's not like they're a cult or something. They just dress differently. Yeah, but what's with all that black lipstick and eyeliner? Yeah, and the girls look weird, too. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are so mean. <sighs> Who cares about them? Yeah, they hate us. I wonder why. Sid, I was just going to call you. Why, you didn't think I was going to show? I'm here. I even wore my dress-up stud. <laughs> How about, um, you and me just do something tonight? What about your friends? Um, well, Mary Beth and Julie have to stay home and study. Do they know that there's two people in there that look just like them? <laughs> look, it just isn't a good night for this. Oh, I get it. Your friends don't want to be seen with a groat. Well, they'd like you if they got to know you. But they don't want to get to know me. Don't you get that? Okay, but we can still be friends. Not likely. You care way too much what they think. Thanks for wasting my time. You have got to talk to her, Antonio. Yeah, if Chrissy keeps hanging around those weirdos, she's gonna ruin her reputation and lose all her friends. You guys are making way too big a deal of this. Okay. Don't complain to us when she starts running out of things to pierce. <laughs> the other gross are sitting at our booth. Oh. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> this is our table. Shoo. I was here first. Christy, what are you doing? Just showing the gross some support. What, is that a stud in your tongue? No, dum-dum, it's a tic-tac. <laughs> Christy, aren't you getting carried away with this be kind to groats thing? Will you tell her it's not a thing? I'm trying to make a point about accepting people, even when they look different. 
No, I'm proud of you. It takes a lot of guts doing what you're doing. Yeah, a lot more to wear what she's wearing. <laughs> Thank you, Antonio. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go meet some friends. Oh, my gosh, it's a cheerleader from beyond the grave. What do you think? Well, give me a second. You know, I've never seen you in normal clothes before. Mm. Do you like it? Yeah, but there's something missing. I know. Let's go poke a hole in your tongue. <laughs> You're kidding, right? Right? A 22-year-old substitute teacher. Oh, an older woman and experienced in the ways of love. <laughs> well, that makes one of you. <laughs> what if she finds out you're a high school student? Yeah, she might give you detention. <laughs> you see, Julie, that's why I don't date you high school chicks anymore. Mm, and we all thank you. Oh. <laughs> and as far as Wendy finding out, yeah. I've got eyes in the back of my head. Okay. <laughs> I'm looking for the girls' locker room. Wendy! Eugene! What are you doing here? I, um, uh, I'll have coaching. <laughs> I'm the assistant coach. <laughs> Don't you stand there? Come on, run those laps. Run, 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 run. <laughs> <laughs> mm. So, we'll go to the dance tomorrow night. A little you, a little me, a little spring, a little fling. <laughs> I'll be ready at seven. I'm ready right now. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> My man is cool. Like the other side of the pillow. <laughs> it looks like we all got dates. Not me. I am flying solo. <laughs> what happened to Wendy? Well, dude, if he asks her to the dance, there's just a tiny chance that she'll figure out that he's in high school. So I told her I was going out of town. And I've got this thing so wired, I'm untouchable. <laughs> So, we're short of chaperone for that spring thing tomorrow night, and I was wondering if you could help us out. Sure. I'm not doing anything this weekend. School dance sounds like fun. Fun? You haven't been teaching very long, have you? Christine, flipped out. That's the only explanation. I'm just glad she voted for Queen before all this happened. Hey, guys. Did you hear about Christy? What now? Somebody beat her up last night. Why would anyone want to beat up Christy? Is she okay? I hope so. I'm really worried about her. Her mom said she was pretty banged up. Oh. oh Christy, you okay? Ah. Oh, you poor thing. Who did this to you? I was with Sid and her friends, and these two big guys came out of nowhere. They called us groats, and they start kicking us. If I find out who did this, I'm going to kick his face in. No, Antonio, I already talked to the police. Oh, this is horrible. People are so mean. What do you care if a bunch of groats get beat up? Christy, you're not a groat. You're my best friend. So if I were a groat, it'd be OK to beat me up? That's not what she's saying. You were just dressed like a groat. I don't need the clothes and the makeup. You're still Christy. Yeah, well, underneath all the clothes and the makeup, Sid and her friends are people, too. They're really nice people. I'm sure they are. How would you even know? You've been so busy judging them, you never even took the time to get to know them. Antonio, can you walk me to class? I'm going to go to the girls' room. I'll go with you. Okay. We'll see you in a week. <laughs> Christy, we really need to talk. I really don't think there's anything to talk about. Come on, Antonio. So, Coach, I'm not exactly sure what a chaperone's supposed to do. Here's all you need to know. Stay away from the kids. Stay close to the wings. Bring your own dressing. <laughs> Excuse me, coach. Yeah. 
Eugene? Wendy! What are you doing here? The coach asked me to chaperone. I thought you were going out of town. <laughs> well, I kind of fell through at the last minute. So, we're both chaperoning. Yeah! <laughs> chaperoning. Would you like some punch? I'd love some. He got away with it again. You know, for a calculus teacher, she's pretty stupid. All right, listen up. The bolts are all in. And it's time to announce your spring fling, queen and king. That's something I can't live without. <laughs> and your spring fling king is... Jeez. <laughs> Eugene Brown? You? You're a student? <sighs> Must be some other Eugene Brown. <laughs> King Eugene! Way to go, buddy! Yeah! Woo! You are a student. I can't believe you're still in high school. Hey, look, Wendy, I'm sorry. I mean, now that you know the truth, you probably want to dump me. Actually, Eugene, you're not really younger than me. Well, you graduated from college. I mean, you've got to be at least, what, four years older than me? Well, unless you skipped a grade or something. Well, actually, I skipped six grades. Uh. <laughs> what? I'm only 16. I just got my driver's license two weeks ago. <laughs> what can I say? I'm a genius. <laughs> so, am I too young for you? <clears throat> well, I mean, I'll let it go this time. <laughs> but from now on, we gotta be straight up with each other. <laughs> Moving on, Deering's new spring fling queen is Mary Beth Pepperton. Way to go, Mary Beth. Um, I know this is where I'm supposed to thank everyone for voting for me, and I do thank you, but there are things that matter a lot more than dances and crowns. Last night, my best friend Christy and some of her friends were beaten up for being groats. I know you're saying who cares about groats. I used to say that too. But I was wrong to judge them for the way they look. I mean, it's no better than judging people for their color or the country they come from or because they're short or fat or gay or because they practice a religion that we don't understand. These are not reasons to hate people. And they sure aren't reasons to hurt anyone. So, Sid, I want to say that I am sorry for the way I've treated you and your friends. wanted this crown for a long time, I want to give it to the person who showed me that I was being intolerant. Christy, you deserve this more than I do. No, you really deserve it for what you just said. <laughs> Besides, you already bought two outfits to go with it. <laughs> Can you forgive me? Can you forgive us? Yeah. Marriage wouldn't happen. They said it wouldn't last. Okay, they were right. The big breakup is Tuesday. Your husband looks like a leprechaun. You think? <laughs> then, on Third Rock, plastic surgeon David Hasselhoff cuts up on Dick. And Will gets fired, but Grace comforts him. Told you so, told you, told you, told you so. Mother of God, make her stop. And the bonus, just shoot me. New comedy on NBC Tuesday.